Next one is the combo chart. In the case of com combo chart is also called as a combination chart. This chart have a combination of <clears throat> the column as well as the line chart. Column chart and the line chart. It can have one or two y-axis in the case of combo chart. So in the case of combo chart, what happens is you have two y-axis. Both the y-axis, if shares the same x-axis, in that kind of situation, you can go for combo charts. So in this case, right, the advantage is you can compare multiple ranges with different measures. For example, you have a measure called sales, you have a measure called profit. You want to compare uh, the sales and uh, profit with year or quarter, multiple measure. What is the measure? The numeric values like um, profit or sales, right? You can plot it together in the y-axis since it, it shares your common x-axis. I'll just show you with an example so that you'll be able to understand. I just go here and here what I do is I just clear this and then if I go here, you can find the line and stacked column chart and line and clustered column chart. I, what I do is I just select this one. This is your combo chart. Here, what I am going to do is I'm going to use something like, uh, here I don't have um, month, uh, quarter is not there, okay. But here it will be there, quarter, okay, let it be there. And here I'm going to, uh, I don't want uh, the year, month number and uh, month prefix. And what I do is I just um, drop the sales over here. Okay, and then now if you see here, it is like your clustered column chart. Wait for some time. And uh, next, what I am going to do is I'm going to drop the profit here. In this case, the profit, I dropped it here. Instead, what I'm in the y-axis. Look here, you have two y-axis. The column y-axis, line y-axis. I just dropped this in the line y-axis. The moment when I drop it here, these two y-ax is related measures. It shares the single column month here. So look here, this is your month. And here you can see the sales as well as the line is nothing but the profit. And if you hover the cursor here, for example, in September month, the sales was 12,72,000. And if you keep the cursor on top of this line here, right, it's 1,60,000. So for 12 lakh, how much profit we made? 1 lakh 60,000. So along with sales, you can see the profit also side by side. And you can go here, you can enable the data label so that it will make your job uh, simple when it comes to interpretation. I just enable the data label. Look here. It is good here. The so 0.5M is your profit and uh, 0.16M is your profit. So you can see that, forget about the blank, there are some issue with the data. And from September to Feb, right, it is going down. So actually, if you see here on the x-axis, it is showing, uh, it is not showing the chronological order. What do you mean by chronological order? In the interview, they will ask you, how do you display the chronological order, right? Uh, we can arrange month in ascending order, right? Very good. So how can you arrange the month in ascending order? Sanoj, why don't you tell? I unmuted you all. How can you do that? Here we have the month number. I'm going to select the month prefix and then sort by column. And then I'm going to say month number. <clears throat> Power query editor. Okay. So we don't have to go to the Power query editor. And what I will do is I will just uh, month prefix. Okay, okay, okay. It, you should select. Um, I have only one table, right? Yeah, month number. I'm going to sort by month prefix. It should be the other way around. Yeah, circular dependency. I just suspected that way.
okay or else we just uh, go here format and data fill okay not here And first of all, let us see. Okay, okay, this is the problem. I'll just change it to min of order date from your sales w zero four comma max of um, order date. Sort by data. So what we do is usually we select the month prefix and then we sort by month number. Let me see if this is a month number. Yes, it's a month only. Uh, it usually it, it has to do this way. Okay, and uh, there is some problem happened here. Let me just check here and then sort ascending. Yeah, now it is doing correctly. Okay, Jan Feb. So what I did here was I just selected the month prefix. It is all in the, you know, the text month. Months are in text. You select this one and then go to the sort by column and then sort by month number. So what will, in, the, in Excel, I think you, you would have tried this one, right? So in Excel, you would have tried this one. In that case, what will happen is um, you are sorting it by this one so that this one will remain fixed and this one will get sorted out. So one is nothing but Jan and two, it, it, if you do the ascending thing here, right? So the one is uh, uh, the Jan and two is Feb, it will get uh, sorted in. Okay, I just did this sort axis in ascending order, month prefix. Because I selected the month prefix and then I just did uh, this one. one second here, I just... And you can see it here, uh, you know, the y-axis, two y-axis, the profit and sales, it shares the x-axis, the common axis, right? The x-axis is the common for these two y-axis. What are the y-axis value? Sales and profit. Okay, but the advantage here is you can compare uh, the sales with the profit. Okay, my sales is 60 million, how much profit I made it, right? You can compare it side by side here itself. You can compare multiple ranges with different measures. Measures are in this case, the sales and profit. Okay, the next topic.